Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E.H.E. the reason you see me. We the jury finds as follows. As to the defendant, Luther Campbell, the defendant is not guilty. <laughs> can't tell, you know, what, what people are thinking and what's on people's mind, you know. Uh, we, we just had a whole lot of hope, you know, I know that, you know, in, in picking the jury, we knew. They're doing everything that I did. I'm still waiting for these girls to send me a fucking check. I need a check from Ice Spice, who turned her ass around and, and drop it in like it's hot and doo-doo browning. I need a check from her. I need a check from Sexy Red. Ah, that red, my friend. My man Stan, shots out to Stan. Stan the man, I don't need a check from him. That's my dog. That's his record company. All the girls, Megan Thee Stallion, anybody that's running around shaking their ass, talking about uh, pussy and dick on the record, y'all need to send me a check. Send me a check. Just stop by with the check and say thank you, Uncle Luke, for allowing us fighting, going to the Supreme Court, allowing us to be able to say what we're saying on the records, and we're whooping these men right now because we're doing our thing. That's going to go viral. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man. Listen, man. I'm back, man. I had to talk about this one right here. Uh, this one is near and dear to me, man. Something that just popped up. Luke just, uh, you know, like I said, Luke just being Luke, man, but Luke, what Luke is saying has a lot of validity to it. Um, being an older cat and seeing the way the game began, uh, what do you, what can I give for $10? Anything you want. Oh, me so horny. You know, Luke came off with Two Live Crew with this dope, dope way of expressing yourself all, all the way to the Supreme Court. It, you know, it was a lot of stuff going on, legal battles and challenges back when this all started. He had so many different ways that he expressed himself through the women, the music, and I just got to give it up to him. Uh, I just was in Miami yesterday, man. Luke wasn't in town. I was upset about that. Wish I could have got to see him. I had some call-ins and found out he wasn't even, you know, he was out doing something else. But I know we're going to make that link sooner or later, man. But shout out to Miami and all the love y'all showed. But had to speak on this one just right quick. Had Really wanted to just kind of say, man, Luke, I don't think he felt no type of way. He's just saying, you know, Sexy Red, it's a shout out. That's just showing you all doing something right now. Uh, my girl Megan Thee Stallion, Ice Spice, all those girls are killing the game right now. But it wouldn't have been no twerking. It wouldn't have been no partying. It wouldn't have been like it is today if it had not been for the way Luke put it down during his era um, being a cat that seen it happen, seeing that boy come into my town, shut the whole thing down. I was just at the airport yesterday, and it was a guy that was expressing the fact of how, when it, not only that, it was just it was a, a guy I interviewed. A shout out to Mr. Miami man, uh, Mr. Dixon. He was basically saying the same thing. He worked at the airport, and Luke Neal would bring all those girls through the whole movement. Luke started with. All the stuff he was doing, man, you cannot deny that. It, without Luke, it's a no-go when it comes down to jamming out, dancing. The twerk, just, it, of course, it evolved, but when he did it, man, nobody did it. Everybody was talking about him, talking down on Uncle Luke. And he decided, man, hey, man, I don't care. I'm going to take the backlash. I'm going to do this no matter what. And he stood on that. And so with that being said, man, it's just so dope to... Even see him acknowledge it, man. They got to give it up to him if they haven't been. If they hadn't did a song showing him that love, somebody need to get Uncle Luke, put him on a song, show him the love. Mulatto, you one, you another one. All y'all that use this style, mostly the girls that's doing it on the internet, we need to get a Luke challenge going. You need to get a challenge going from Uncle Luke, man, when it come down to how these girls dance. And if y'all going to twerk, Twerk to some of that two live crew, man. Let's get it back pumping for. Let's get something to go viral for uh, Luke, man. But I got my girl, man, who I've seen her twerk as well in memoration of Luke. She is on the phone now. Reality TV. What it do? What's up? What's up? The, what you think about Uncle Luke? Was he the twerk king? Or did he start it? <laughs> so I, I feel like this. <laughs> I know a lot of people be criticizing Six Red and all the women like, oh my God, they twerking and this and that. I remember, you know, Freak Neek and people, you know, they did a whole documentary on the Freak Neek, so I don't be understanding why everybody's so like, you know, 
be on these girls when Uncle Luke was over there having your mamas and your your aunties, maybe your grandmama. I heard Papa and Coochie. First of all, nobody told you to come in here defending sexy red. Let's just stop I'm right there. You that. went right to the <laughs> defending of ste- I, this is about Uncle Luke saying sexy red. She's she doing her thing. But at, I know, I know he was being sarcastic. I'm, I'm talking about the people that's like I always got something to say. Ain't nobody worry about the haters. Damn the haters. I'm talking about what sexy red and them need to do for Uncle Luke. Let's not lose focus here. He is the king of this thing. He started this thing. They need to pay homage to him. No, so that means you got to pay homage to the women that came before them as well. What, when, why you keep running back to the women? The women ain't the one that make this thing happen. The, the kings. Have to use, the men have to use the women popping the coochie in the video. Of course, but they didn't have nowhere to pop it if it hadn't been for the men creating something for them to pop it too. Exactly. My point exactly. You have to use the men in order for them to even listen to your music. I'm telling you right now, the men had to create it, and then the women had to come behind that as usual. So let me, so so let me, let me, let me bring it around and say this. Let me, let me say this with a message. So with all that being said, so black men set a better example, so the black women can do better. Oh, here we go again, challenging the fact of what the man has created. The one thing I can't. I'm just saying, you know, can we get a, can, can we get a, can, what they call it, what they call it, can we get a, uh, wait, what's the name you gave me? What's the name you gave me? Reality TV. Okay, okay. All I'm saying is we need to get some kind of challenge going for my boy Luke when it comes down to the fact that he started this twerk thing. He got some head, he be chanting head and more head. You know, we need to get a challenge. Y'all get, do something to, to commemorate. Yeah, Doodoo Brown. He mentioned that when he was talking too. This is giving give him his props, man, because he Uncle Luke done got old now. But we've been doing this, so let the slack up on these young ladies. Let them twerk and have fun. Nobody tripping on these old broads. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. They're not old. Well, whoever these broads is, they ain't nobody tripping on. But I'm just saying, pay homage to Luke for procreating. I love it. I love it. I love to see black people having fun. So I wish people would stop making everything a negative thing. Let me just say this, man. Before Luke did come out, it was quite the music. You know, they was doing all type of music. Some of the hip hop was doing their thing, but without that additive that Luke put in there, man. Now it ain't like no other Luke, because I remember me as a young girl wanna, you know, I mean, not knowing what he was Oh, we know what you did. Oh, we know you was a twerking. What was I doing? Uh, you was probably I doing was, that uh what's that song? That uh, actually a tomboy really, tomboy. really, you, 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 you might have, you might have came in after, what? after that, was a tomboy. after that tussie roll. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I don't became a did, Okay, I did you ever do? Did you ever do the tussie roll? To the left. Oh Lord, there it is. Yeah. Sixty nine boys. <laughs> yeah, those sixty nine boys. They got their style. All that stuff came on under Uncle Luke. I love that. We be having fun. Come on, ride that train. Like we used to have fun. They walked it out. That. Chingy, he started coming in with that that right, right there. there. The chicken head. Man, I love black people. get in the comments, guys. I want y'all to tell me, did re, uh, Uncle Luke? Does does he deserve a challenge? Do you think that is do you and also let me know if reality TV try to turn it back toward the women like I like she always do, uh, you know, defending something that nobody's even trying to talk about. Uh, we want to pay homage to Uncle Luke while we got him here. Give him his roses for being the one who started this thing. If y'all got anybody else that y'all feel was before Uncle Luke or was doing it. On a whole nother level than what Uncle Luke was. Let me know. Get in the comments. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 uh, Reviews. What a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.